So here we are, just a year to go, can you believe, until the Rugby League World Cup 2013, 14 teams toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe over six weeks and the great and the good of the uh, Rugby League uh, press worlds uh, are in attendance to speak to some of the big players uh, involved as well. Uh, we've uh, grabbed a couple of guys off the street as well to come in. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gething Jones did a great nice job actually uh, hosting this event today and as a, a proud Welshman you, you're going to be quite enthusiastic about this event too. Yeah well we've talked before about the excitement back home you know it's uh, an England and Wales World Cup and just by the success of uh, the Magic Weekends down in Cardiff at the Millennium we just saw people uh, come from all over Wales to, to, to watch the matches. Uh, I'm a big fan of rugby, uh, mm. full stop, you know, either, either code. Um, and what I love about rugby league in particular, it doesn't matter who's playing, even at the grand finals, uh, the Challenge Cups, you see everyone there with, with their shirts on. And I think everyone's going to get behind it. From what I hear, the tickets went on sale at midnight last night, so a year to go. Uh, they're getting in there early, and uh, early signs are promising. And what a final it'll be at Old Trafford as well on the 30th of November next year. So can't wait. I think it's a it's a once in a generation certainly for this sport um, to stage a tournament of this size um, and to get beyond the usual marketplace. I think international sport resonates with people as we've seen with the Olympics. Um, and very often if you want to attract new people to the sport, that's the way that you have to do it. Um, the Olympics have set an amazing platform. People vying to get tickets for handball, a sport that just doesn't get played here, says to us that people are interested in watching new sports and being engaged in a, in a major tournament of some sort so we think if we can get people to those games we know that once people watch rugby league live they want to come back and watch it again it is very exciting i think you know just the general feel of a lot you know there's a lot of media here and you know a year away sounds quite long but i'm sure it will creep up on us quickly yeah so is it's it, very exciting is it a special feeling being a, a host nation as well uh it is yeah obviously kicking off at the at the millennium stadium so a massive very young uh, young Welshmen, so very much looking forward to playing there. You look at any major tournament, be it football, rugby union, rugby league, you always get the feel that the tournament doesn't get going until the host nation plays, and it's a lot better if the host nation does well. So how crucial uh, that Wales, like England, have a, a really good tournament? You know, we'll, we will be aiming to get a win, and uh, obviously I think Italy will be tough opponents, but, uh, you know, we want to start the tournament well, and uh, hopefully that can lead us to more success in the, in the rest of the group but uh, don't go me wrong we know Italy are going to be tough but uh, hopefully we can come more successful. Yeah very proud it's vital isn't it you need to you need Irish boys in involved around it but I know that a lot of boys are English but they have a lot of pride in their Irish heritage anyway so. And do, do you have a battle to get um, the Irish fans behind you in, in this competition or, or do you have a, uh, a steady support base already there do you think? Uh, I think it's a bit of a battle at the minute, but hopefully with some of the best teams in the world coming, people will come out and watch. You know, like superstars from the Australian team and England team should bring people out to watch the games. So. I think we'll go good. Uh, you know, we're, uh, with our coach, um, they're recruiting at the moment. We've got a lot of um, young talent back home and in back in the NRL um, in New Zealand. So uh, it's going to be a healthy competition. Um, and you know, I think everyone's going to be playing for their spots. You know, I mean. I'm not guaranteed a spot, and I have to be playing at my best over here to, you know, give my um, give me opportunity to play for the team because there's up, you know, young, up and coming talent. So um, uh, it'll be a healthy competition. It'll be good. And just a final thought: if you're a general sports fan watching this, who is thinking perhaps I'll buy a few tickets for the Rugby League World Cup, what would you say to them? Oh, mate, get into it. Um, yeah, definitely buy a ticket for. Uh, well, like I said earlier, I mean the final is is is, um, is pretty. Getting, it's, the tickets are getting sold, you know, five to one. Um, so whoever's in the final, it's going to be a great game. Whether it's New Zealand, England, you know, the top, the top teams up there, it'll be a great game. It'll be a crack of it. So um, yeah, get in there, get them. They're going, they're going quick. Well, one of the things I love about covering uh, rugby league is I get to work with. Uh, fine specimens, a, a similar stature, pound for pound, as myself, and, and similar film star good looks as well. Uh, let's speak to one of them. Ah, oh, hello, Will Crabtree. How are you? I'm fantastic. What about yourself? <laughs> Very good. How excited are you about this? I was excited until meeting you. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, no, it's absolutely brilliant. It's uh, something that I haven't really thought too much about. Mm. And then as it's come to a year to go, it's just seemed to become reality. It's absolutely fantastic what they've tried to put on today. It's been brilliant and it's been well received and well backed up. Uh, a big tournament like this as a home nation in any sport is massive. How crucial is this to the sport of rugby league that the tournament is a, is a big success on and off the field? I think that's the key really is uh, the success of the tournament overall, not just as 
as a, as an individual team. And um, I think it's a, a case of putting on a, a spectacle, and that's what we want from this event. And if we do that, do the right things, and go in the right way, then we'll get a few people on board and a few more fans along the way, because we know we've got fans, mm. but it's the, the ones that are not so much fans that we want to turn. Yeah, it's, it's going to be great. I mean, um, we played last week, and and to, to hear the, the bagpipes and the national anthem sung again, it, 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 you know what I mean? It, it makes the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. So um, to be up there in Workington and and um, hopefully we've made some new Scotland fans up there with, um, with the with community work we've been doing. It's going to be a, a great occasion. It's different, isn't it? As a professional rugby league player, you go home and away with all your mates all the time. But there's something about an international get together that, that's quite special. Yeah, I mean, uh, especially the Scotland boys, uh, the banter that they've got and um, the camaraderie is, is, is brilliant. I mean, I saw on Twitter as soon as they, they dropped them off that they can't wait to get back into camp the week after. So I'm sure the practical jokes have been flying around and. Um, they're looking forward to pulling on the Scotland shirt again. Uh, hopefully we'll do a lot better than we did in the last World Cup. Um, obviously we you know, a bit disappointed that we didn't get to achieve the things that we set out to achieve in 2008, but um, you know, we get another shot at it now. So, um, really what do you want to achieve? You know, we, we're just hoping to get to, to the finals. You know, we, we really want to get to the finals and and uh, in saying that, we know we've got to play well. Um, you know, we, we've, we definitely will come up with, a, you know, a, I think a, a very strong squad. So, um, you know, but th that's one thing, you know, uh, the, the next thing is to, it's, is to perform on the field. So hopefully we can, you know, put everything together and um, have a really good campaign. And as a guy who's played a lot of his rugby league in England, how, how crucial is it that a tournament like this really grabs the public's interest and, and puts rugby league on a pedestal that perhaps it hasn't been on before? Yeah, I think it's very important, you know, um, especially in, in, in trying to develop our game, you know, in different countries. Um, I think the UK will be a great place to, you know, to really take off with uh, with uh, rugby league. So, um, you know, we, I think it's a very important World Cup that, uh, you know, it, it goes really well. And, um, you know, let, let's just hope that everyone gets behind it. So just one year to go until 14 teams battle to get their hands on this and a year and six weeks to go until we find a winner. Tickets are on sale now for the 2013 Rugby League World Cup.